Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can start or open an application with motion using Python. So first of all, let's understand this project. How is this project working or what is the mechanics behind this project? So first of all, to detect the motion or if there is an obstacle in front of it, we have a ultrasonic sensor. Then to process that data or to understand that data that uh, this uh, ultrasonic sensor is providing, we have a microcontroller called Arduino. Okay. Then to check if that data is satisfying a specific condition and then if that specific condition is satisfied to open a specific application, we have Python. So this was the working mechanism of the project that we are going to create today. Now this is very basic and basics is the best part to start. And this is the start of my new Arduino with Python playlist. And this is the first ever project. This is why I have kept it very simple. So let's move on. Now, if you have ever worked with Arduino, you must be wondering that Arduino doesn't use this Python. Arduino has its own native language which is very similar to C. So how is this controlling of Arduino with Python happening? So the answer is pretty simple using a Python library and the Python library that we are gonna use for this task is PyMata4. Okay so this is the PyPy page of PyMata4 and uh, you have to install this package. Okay so uh, just go to CMD and uh, write pip install uh, pi mata 4 okay it will it will take some time it will install pi serial also which is also a library that we'll discuss in the later end of uh, this uh, playlist now this project can be split into two sections first is the hardware section and second is the software section so let's set up our software section first then we'll move on to the hardware connection and everything okay so we have installed pi mata 4 for our python now, whenever you work with Arduino, you work on this ID. This is the ID created for Arduino and uh, for Arduino projects, we mostly work on this ID. And uh, we'll be using this for the initial part of our project, just for the initial part. After that, Python will take care of everything. We don't need this uh, ID after that at all. So what you need to do is you need to go to tools and then manage libraries. After going to manage libraries, this uh, page will appear on your screen. It will take some time to load all the uh, library indexes. Then go to this search bar and search for Fermata Express. Okay, search for Fermata Express. And there you can see this is the library that you have to install built by Fermata developers. Now the version may differ from mine. And uh, if you get error in the later end of this video, do one thing select the specific version that you have here that is popping up on your screen select from here okay but in majority of the cases you won't get an error okay so uh, after installing this click on this close and then go to files uh, then uh, examples scroll down to the very bottom and select Fermata Express and you have only one example here Fermata Express okay so uh, this will open this huge code for you. Now you don't need to bother yourself to read all of this code. Then you have to connect your Arduino Uno with a ultrasonic sensor and the connection I'll show you in just a bit. Actually, you know what? Let's start with the connection first. Okay, so we have already seen the software requirement for this project. Let's see that what is the hardware requirement. So uh, first is the microcontroller used. So uh, we are using Arduino Uno here. The buy link will be provided in the description. If you want to purchase the exact same uh, model or the exam, uh, exact same piece that I'm using here, this is the cord that we'll use for uh, Arduino Uno. Uh, then this is the ultrasonic sensor. And to be specific, this is, just me focus. Okay, so uh, this is HC SR04. This is the ultrasonic sensor that we'll be using for this project. And uh, we need some male to female jumper wires. Okay, once again, all the buy link will be provided in the description. So uh, first of all, let's connect all the wires into this uh, ultrasonic sensor. Uh, 
Okay, so we have connected all the wires to this ultrasonic sensor. Now let's start with the first one which is VCC. You can see on your screen VCC. So we have to connect the VCC wire to the 5 volt on our ultrasonic sensor. Uh, sorry, on our Arduino Uno board. So if you look closely on your Arduino Uno board, you can see the 5 volt just uh, adjacent to the ground. So this is the fourth number pin. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Fourth one is the 5 volt supply. Uh, then the last one on the other side is uh, ground. So let's connect ground to the ground. So ground is just uh, adjacent to our 5 volt supply. So let's connect this to 5 volt. Sorry to the ground. And uh, then we have only two pins left. Uh, the trigger and the eco pin okay now you can connect this to any of the digital uh, pin here okay don't connect it to analog let me uh, turn this around uh, don't connect this to analog connect this to digital okay don't connect it here connect it here okay to the digital pins now according to my code trigger pin will be on the 11th and uh, the eco pin will be on the 12th one so as you can see this is the connection and also a connection will be popping up on your screen this was more of a demonstration now connect the power cord of your arduino uno like that and uh, connect this part to the USB of your laptop. So with the connection being done, let's get to our editor and uh, start writing our code. Okay. Okay. So before we move ahead, let's have a word from our today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by An Academy. Are you a student or a working professional who is looking for a great career in software development? Then you have to think about these aspects like what's trending in the industry and the kind of questions being asked in the interview. What's the thought process behind the architecture of great applications like Google, Amazon, Zomato and Ola and how to improve your core chef ranking. So to achieve all these goals, what you need to do is you need to go to unacademy.com slash goals slash career as a software developer. I'll provide this link in the description. And first, let's talk about the host or the mentors of these courses. Now, these hosts are working with some of the top companies like Google, Amazon, to name a few. They are seven star coders on Code Chef and are industry experts with years of experience. And what they'll do is they'll walk you through their own industry experience and interact with a lot of guests like HR and industry leaders of top companies where they'll ask questions raised by you. Now this was about the mentors. Let's go to the live sessions and see what they have to offer for you. Now in these live episodes, you'll get an opportunity to ask Tech HR about top 20 questions and industry leaders directly about their recruitment process in startups and multinational companies. What is the eligibility and how to apply and how they build such great projects. And not only this, you can participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, blockchain and crypto, cloud computing, tech aspects of digital marketing, data analysis, and many more. Have you wondered about what questions are asked in top product company interviews? If the answer is yes, then we have a show where most love will walk through top interview questions usually asked for companies like Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Amazon, and LinkedIn and how to solve them and respond in such a way that helps you in cracking your interview. Now, what are the unique selling points of this course? You will get a chance to come live with love and get your queries resolved on the spot. Now, who is this show for? If you are a college student looking to get placed in top product companies or if you are a working professional looking to switch, then this show is for you. Now, you must be thinking that you have to pay a hefty price for courses like this. But no, 
you have to pay 999 rupees per month to get access to all of these courses but wait there is more if you use my code harshit roy you will get an additional 10% off let me show you you need to just write harshit roy and click apply and you will get an instant 100 rupees off so all the links will be provided in the description definitely check them out and let's move on to our next project okay so now we have done the connection now what you have to do is you have to uh, connect the usb to your laptop or to your pc and then click on this upload button okay make sure that all the connections are tight now click on this upload button and uh, uh, yeah it will take some time you scroll this up uh, it will take some time okay so our code is uploaded on a arduino uno we have already done the connection now let's get to the code and see that how you can use the distance from the ultrasonic sensor to open a specific application okay now you can close this uh, arduino id okay so this is the code for you first of all we have to import time because we are adding a sleep here of 0.1 uh, seconds then we have pymata4 this is our main library and uh, we have os because we want to open a specific application in this case we have sublime text okay uh, then we have trigger pins and eco pins okay we have placed our trigger and eco pins at 11 and 12 now if you want you can change the pin number this pin number is basically the connection that you have done this is for trigger pin and this is for eco pin okay then we have created a board instance for pymata 4pymata 4 this is the class and this is the class instance okay then board dot set pin mode sonar we are calling this class and these are the parameter first is what is the trigger pin then we have what is the eco pin and then what is the callback callback is what function will be triggered if uh, this board connection or this connection is right so this callback function will be called then we are creating a infinite loop here so that we can confirm the continuous running of our program and the program is getting the data from the ultrasonic sensor okay so uh, it has a try and accept condition just to make sure that the program is continuously running and if there is a exception we shut down the board now in the try condition we are adding a 0.1 second deal and then again board dot sonar read with trigger pin okay so when this callback uh, function is called the value given to this callback function is this data variable okay and this data variable is having the dist so uh, ignore this line actually i was trying something but that didn't work so let's ignore this okay so uh first of all let's print the distance so uh we are printing distance then data of the index 2 this data variable has multiple values we are only interested in the distance of the obstacle in front of a ultrasonic sensor which is at the index third then if data 2 is less than 100 or if there is a obstacle in front of the ultrasonic sensor within the range of uh, 100 units we want to open this specific file which is sublime text okay now let's run this code okay so now our program is running it will take some time to get the data from the ultrasonic sensor okay so we are getting the uh, distances now let me uh, put my hand in front of the ultrasonic sensor okay so the sublime text opened uh, let me close this put my hand again opened again now nothing is opening let me put my hand again okay so as you can see our program is working and uh, this is what i promised in the starting of the video this was a very basic project on how you can use Arduino Uno with Python to create some projects. Now, I have multiple projects in my mind. Various automation projects like uh, automating the switchboard and uh, many projects like that. So, this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture. Bye-bye.